but I paid for a health MOT. And one of the things that stood out was when the nurse took blood pressure readings on the leg and they take medication for high blood pressure, the leg readings showed that it was not working as well as it should. What's worrying this person is that the mum's legs started to go purple from about 70. But and this is how smoke. her... Yeah, uh, yeah she's yeah. for 50. <laughs> Everybody's mum smoked for 50 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah, caps from full strength. Um, she's never smoked, but does have a weight problem. And she's worried that she, her legs will end up purple, but she doesn't have diabetes. Okay, so first point. Diabetes, two very, very different conditions. Type 1 diabetes is what's called an autoimmune condition, and that's caused by the body's immune system, which normally helps you fight off disease, turning on part of your body and destroying the cells inside your pancreas, which produce insulin. That is a very, very different condition. It's nothing to do with lifestyle. Type 2 diabetes is almost all, certainly largely, to do with lifestyle and the sort of things that affect your that that make you prone to type 2 diabetes are also the sort of things that make you prone to problems with your arteries so if we think about the things that make you that that make you prone to problems with your arteries smoking goes without saying having type 2 diabetes but having high blood pressure having raised cholesterol all of those things can make a difference she does say that she's got a weight problem um, and that can increase your risk but frankly it's nothing like as big a risk as uh, as being a smoker or even an ex-smoker the risks of smoking um, from smoking do decline very rapidly actually and substantially when you stop it's never too late to stop but unfortunately there are some conditions where you will continue to have raised um, raised risks as a result of having smoked in the past but basically if your blood pressure in your legs is lower than the blood pressure in the arms that could suggest that you've got a problem with the circulation the arterial supply and again i go back to this idea the arteries are the the blood vessels that pump what that, that carry blood at high pressure out from your heart to the rest of your body the veins are the ones that carry blood at lower pressure from your legs and from every other bit of your body back to your heart now having a problem with your arterial supply if it was in your legs I can bet your bottom dollar that your mum, who had purple legs from about 70, also had something called intermittent claudication. And I've mentioned that already. That's the condition where, where if you walk too far, then you can end up with pain and that pain settles after you stop and the pain comes on at shorter distance if you're walking uphill or if you're going against the wind and when it gets severe you get that same pain at rest and that is where we need to worry that's where as as Leanne said that's where the, her team would need to be involved but it is still important that she goes to see her healthcare professional to get an assessment because the, the point is that there, we're almost certainly not, if she hasn't got any symptoms from it, she hasn't got intermittent claudication, this is not about referring her up to the vascular specialist straight away. This is about thinking about all those life, lifestyle factors, the smoking, the regular exercise, getting your cholesterol under control. That could be by losing weight. It could be by improving your diet. It may be that you'll need a statin on top. It's possible that you might need a, a plate, an anti-platelet medicine, but not necessarily. Um, you might do, depending on what the pressures are, but that would reduce the risk of complications happening. But I do think that really the reason for you, if you haven't got symptoms for going to see a healthcare professional, is that you need to think about the fact that the blood pressure is lower tells me that you're not at high risk because you haven't got symptoms, but you are definitely at increased risk because you have got lower pressure. And that means that we need to start looking at those diet, lifestyle, and possibly medications, um, prime, what we call primary prevention medications. So that would be statins, blood pressure lowering if necessary, and antiplatelets if needed. Thanks, Sarah. Liam? And I would just say the MOT has done its job. It's highlighted an issue that you need to take some action with now. Sarah's mentioned some of the issues that the, the healthcare professional needs to do in terms of assessing your risk and medication intervention. But actually, as Dr. Jarvis said, a lot of this is what you need to do now. Stop smoking, optimise your weight, exercise more. So in a way, this is a kickstart, if you like, to your new healthy lifestyle. And that's the one thing that's going to prevent 
you from carrying on on the same path as your mother. It's not really what we do. It's all about what you're going to do. Absolutely. And the only thing I would add to that is that, you know, we have long been aware that scare tactics don't work, that saying to people, you've got to stop smoking, your legs are going to fall off, doesn't work. What you need to think about is what matters to you. And if your priority is about, you know, being able to run around and play football with your grandchildren or being able to go on walks with your walking group when you're retired, whatever it is, you need to think about what your priorities are. And you can bet your bottom dollar that actually all those lifestyle changes we've been talking about and you know make no mistake I do not I I absolutely understand they are not easy but small changes really do add up and the best way for you to st- kick start this healthy new lifestyle as Leanna said is for you to work out what your priorities are and to work towards them and there's loads of help out there for you on the NHS resources that we can sign post you to that helps you make those tiny changes <laughs>